welcome to the Light and Energy Show with me, Claire Wiles. We're here today in the wonderful town of Glastonbury in Somerset with two very special people. We've got John and Anthony with us. John, would you like to uh, introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Yes, uh, my name is John Wadsworth. I'm an astrologer and I live here in Glastonbury. And I've been working as a professional astrologer for about 20 years. Uh -huh. And um, out of that work and out of my experience working with the zodiac, with, with the planets, with astrology, I created something called the Alchemical Journey, which has now been running for three years. And we take people around the zodiac, around the year, around the astrological year through the seasons. And we experience ourselves and our lives through these 12 archetypal perspectives represented by the 12 signs of the zodiac. So if you can imagine, we spend a whole weekend being Aries, being Rams, a whole weekend being Taurian bulls, a whole weekend being Geminis, a whole weekend being Cancerians. Regardless of what our, our sun sign, our star sign is, we, we work, work on the basis that we carry all 12 of these within us and that we can tap the magic and the transformational power of each one. And that's what we do. And we do it through, in all sorts of ways, we use music and uh, movement, imagery, guided visualization and meditation, and we walk in the landscape. And I guess that's where Anthony comes in. Yeah, I'm Anthony and um, I, my kind of thing really is the landscape. And um, I've been interested in sacred landscape and the energies in the landscape for 30 years, the history, the background, the myths, the traditions, all that kind of thing. And here in Glastonbury, this is a completely unique landscape because uh, as well as the myths and the history of Jesus Christ coming here and King Arthur dying here and goodness knows what, rows of saints and goodness knows, extraordinary kind of landscape, there is the famous Glastonbury landscape zodiac. And this is an extraordinary um, 12 miles across um, uh, sort of picture of the various signs of the zodiac found in the field patterns and the ways the rivers run and all the rest of it. So you can look down from the sky and literally see a living zodiac on the ground. And the fascinating thing is that each of these signs, some of which are several miles across, if you walk in them and if you go to these places, like if you're walking on the, the Leo sign for um, the lion, uh, that part of the year, you'll find all kinds of extraordinary representations and coincidences and synchronicities of lionness. There'll be lion stories and houses named after lions and pubs called the Red Lion, and it keeps whirling up out of the ground until you start to realise there's something very magical going on here. So you can imagine if you've spent a whole day working yourself up into all the complexities and fascinations in the sign of Leo in the first day of our workshop, then you go out into the landscape and you're walking in the very energy of this sign. And we do very much parts of the walk in complete silence. So you just have to absorb, you know, what's going on. Um, by the end of that weekend, people just change. And that's what we're about, isn't it? Fantastic. And uh, we're going to hear a little bit more about that later on. We're starting here at the Abbey. Um, John, could you tell us why we've actually started at the Abbey for our, our show today? Well, this is a this is a remarkable place um, in Glastonbury. It's a it's a, um, thought by many to be the 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 the, the, fir the the birthplace of Christianity in many ways because it's the, the first church of Christendom is thought to have first been built here uh, by Joseph of Arimathea, and it's thought even that maybe Jesus came here as well. There's a strong tradition of Jesus coming here um, in his in his youth, and. It's a, it's a place that, that carries a certain energy and the, the, um, the, the well-known Michael Ley Line runs right through the middle of the Abbey down here and right through the, the house behind the Abbey House here. And, um, and so it, it, it carries a, a, a special charge to it. And uh, there are many sacred places here in Glastonbury, but this is perhaps the, the most sacred. And uh, here it is, um, the ruin of the Abbey behind us. Do you want to add any more? Um, no, it is a very special place. I mean, there's an energy line which literally is crossing the grass here, just behind a tree, and goes down through the centre of the abbey. As John said, it's, it's the Michael, sometimes called the Michael Mary line. It runs all the way from the coast on, at East Anglia, diagonally across England, passing through many, many Michael and Mary de dedicated churches, and it goes all the way to St Michael's Mount in, in, in Cornwall. And it's one of the most extraordinary things, which of course I suppose 
archaeologists and scientists would find a lot of difficulty with. But dowsers and sensitive people can pick this up. It's got healing energy, it's got transformational energy, and it just so happens to pass through this retreat house here and through down the lawn here. So as John says, we're in a very, very special place, a unique place in Britain, really. And it's, uh, can I say one more thing? It's, it's also on the Aquarius figure in the landscape zodiac yeah. as well. So this is the... Um, so we're actually on the, on the zodiac here yeah. in this point as well. I mean, yeah. if, if you think of Aquarius as the sign which is associated with the kind of the coming new age or whatever you want to call it and all the transformations of consciousness and ideas that's been going on probably for 150 years already. And if you think of Glastonbury as a place full of very radical alternative living people, you know, with lots of different faiths, lots of different spiritual traditions, lots of different kinds of experiment in um, social community and all that kind of thing going on here. Only 7,000 people here, but probably this is the most radical, forward-looking community in the whole of the United Kingdom. And it's on the Aquarius sign of the Glastonbury Zodiac, dead on. Yes, that's, uh, that's quite amazing, isn't it? Well, we're going to go inside now to somewhere a little bit warmer and less windy to continue our show.